This is Eugene Panarinkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Uh, today we have a Gateway NV78 laptop computer with a broken laptop screen that we're going to show you how to change. Uh, this is a big laptop, 17.3 inch LED screen. So let's fix it up and get it back to its owner. Okay, before we do anything is we want to take out the battery. So there's two levers that you have to slide. First one is you have to unlock the battery. And then you slide this one and the battery lifts up like so. Once we remove the battery, we can now safely work on the screen. Okay, uh, in order to get to the screen, we have to remove this plastic frame, also known as the bezel. And it's secured by what looks like six screws, and there's a couple of screws in the back that I'll show you we have to remove. So the screws are hidden by some rubber feet, and we use our X-Acto knife to lift up the rubber feet, like so. And what I like to do with those is I like to put them next to it so I don't lose them. Okay, when we lift up this rubber foot, we don't see any screw behind there, so we leave this one alone. And we assume also there's no screw behind here. So that's good. That's fewer screws for us to remove. So we removed all four of the rubber feet. And now the screws are exposed. And I guess we should go over the tools that we're going to use before we start using it. We have a small electronic screwdriver. I use a PH1 bit for this job. And then an X-Acto knife with a pointed blade. And some metal tweezers. So you already saw what we use selling tools for. So let's start removing the screws. When you remove the screws, keep the screws from each step in a separate pile so that when you're ready to put it back together, you know which screws go where. And I like to keep the piles in the order from in the order which we remove them. So we can just go backwards on this. Okay, so let's zoom in. It's a beautiful Monday morning here in Tucson. It's going to be in the 90s, which is not too hot here. It's still considered nice weather. A couple of weeks, we're going to get to 100, 100 degrees or so. Okay, and with this laptop, there's a trick. There's two extra screws that you have to remove to remove the bezel, and it's not obvious first. So they're behind the laptop, and they're where the hinge cover is. So we remove these screen screws also. First time I was there working on these laptops, it took me forever to find these screws. Sometimes they don't make it easy for you. Okay, so we removed these screws. Now we go back and open up the laptop and it's time to remove the bezel. This is probably the hardest part of the job, but we can do it. What I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side of the bezel and gently start lifting it up and hear for snapping sounds. Once I hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. That means the bezel is coming off. Take your time on it. If some part doesn't want to give, just go around the different face and find a part that does want to give. Okay, now let's tilt the screen back and see if we can remove the bezel. And we did. And that's off, so we put it to the side. Now, if you didn't remove those last two screws, it will, the bezel will be stuck down here. So be careful. All right, usually for these types of screens, the screen is mounted by a metal brackets on the sides of the screen, and there's usually two or three screws on each side.
and we want to check see if it's easy to get to these screws or not. In this case, it's real easy. Sometimes you have to tilt the screen forward a bit to get to the screws, but not in this case. So we remove the three screws from each side. When you do this, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back so when all the screws are removed, the screen doesn't just fall forward on you and damage some other stuff. Okay, so we remove the screws from one side. We go to this side. We start removing the three screws on this side. Almost there. Okay, now that the screws are out, what we want to do is to tilt the screen assembly forward gently and we see that something's holding it back. And we see that it's the video cable and it has some adhesive attached to the back of the screen. So we gently lift up the video cable, make sure there's no adhesive, and then we tilt the screen back. Okay. Next, we take a look at what we have here. And it's an LED screen. So with LED screens, there's only one connector, and it's right here. We have to remove it. There's some adhesive tape securing the connector. So we looked up the adhesive tape, like so. These are fingertips if you have small fingers. It's probably better for this, or if you get stuck, you can use the exacto knife to get the tape started and then it lifts up fine. So we lift up the tape and sometimes there's adhesive on the back of the video cable as in this case. So we lift up the adhesive, lift up the video cable to remove the adhesive. And then once this is done, we just pull, we just pull the connector back and it comes off. So the screen is free now. Let's take a look at the screen. It's a 17.3 inch LED screen and it says HD plus on the little label here. Now that doesn't mean it's full HD. It's a 1600 by 900 resolution screen. So that can get that can get confusing sometimes. So this is a standard 17.3 inch LED screen and they're fairly available. Let's take a look at the part number. The part number you need to know is B173RW01. That's all you need to know. B173RW01. And with this screen, the connector is going to be on the bottom left when it's the rear of the screen is facing you. And pretty much any screen inch by nowadays is going to have a connector on the side, so you don't have to worry about it. The screen has a glossy finish, as most screens do. So that's just some things to know. Now, another thing that's a little bit unusual about this particular screen you have to take note is it has this white film on the bottom and you don't see the circuit board. So if you can, can you remove this little tab and you see part of the circuit board. Normally when you receive the screen, it's not going to have this white film. So don't worry, it's still going to be the same screen. It's going to look exactly it's going to work exactly the same, but this white film is not going to be there, and you're going to see a big green circuit board on the bottom. Okay, uh, you can order this screen on Google or eBay, or if you would like, you can order it from us also. So uh, you just go to www.screensurgeons.com and click on Buy a Screen, and we usually give additional warranties that the other vendors don't. All right, uh, when you have your screen, and just put everything back in the reverse order and um, 
put the screen in the brackets and put the bezel on. And remember the two screws in the back and you're good to go and it should be ready. So um, once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And I'm Rob Top Screen Doc, and that's it. And good luck.